I would start a new video here um, just because I'm so conscious of how close we are to the end now and um, obviously this is something I've liked in, and enjoyed keeping up with throughout the pregnancy and yeah I think I'll be really upset if I don't document as much of the last few weeks as I can. Um, obviously hard, I'm still at work. <laughs> hence the Christmas jumper, it's Christmas jumper day today. It's the 7th of December, um, so we're less than a month away. I am 36 weeks today, um, at just absolutely mental. I cannot believe it. Um, but yeah, I just want to try and document as much as I can, um, just for the memories really. Um, I've enjoyed pregnancy so much. So yeah, I can't believe it's coming to the end. But I've just got back from my 36 week midwife appointment. Um, not very eventful, I mean they never are. Um, but two weeks ago at my 34 week, um, we got sent for a growth scan because I was measuring a tiny bit too, well bump was measuring a tiny bit too small. Um, and the scan obviously came back all fine. Actually, I think he's big. They said he's on the 87th, 87th percentile. Um, so quite big. <laughs> so anyway, today she just said we don't need to measure um, because it's been less than two weeks since the scan. And she said the scan looked absolutely fine anyway. Um, so I'm a little bit gutted because I was quite intrigued to see how we're measuring. Um, I feel like bump has changed a bit. Um, praying that obviously he's still head down. Um, but other than that, um, I thought we were going to discuss the birth a little bit more, but we didn't really. But we do have a hospital. Yeah, so we've got um, a hospital tour on Saturday because um, we've I've been accepted onto the birthing unit, which is amazing. So they've offered us a tour. So really looking forward to that. It just all feels so real now. Um, this week we started our hypnobirthing course. It's an online course with the Positive Birth Company. Um, we've only done a, a little bit at night, but really enjoying that so far, and that's also made me really excited. So, yeah, that's good. So that's the update, really. Oh, um, they did, they didn't discuss the birth as much, but I'm assuming we'll do that at the hospital. Um, but she did give me some syringes, um, and said it's time to start um, colostrum harvesting, which is mad. <laughs> And it looks a bit of a minefield. Um, so I'm probably going to be watching some videos on that tonight. Um, and we'll see how we get on with that. Um, yeah, and then my next appointment is in two weeks on the 21st of December. So, yeah, really close to Christmas. Uh, and she said that we won't book any more in, obviously just in case baby turns up before then. Um, but then otherwise she'll book in for 40 weeks. Um and yeah hopefully hopefully he won't be early but hopefully he won't be too late either um but yeah so there's a little update and i will probably next pick up the camera on saturday when we go to the hospital for the tour very exciting and a let me take this off a pump update See, I feel like, I feel huge. <laughs> I feel like he's really big. And a few people have told me how low he's getting. So I don't really know, but I feel big. <laughs> um, but not not struggling, I don't think. Still feeling comfortable. Um, I'm sure that might change in a week or so, but yeah, 36 weeks. We are on the way to our hospital tour. Um, what's the date today? Uh, 9th. 9th, 9th of December. I am 36 weeks and two days. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, on the way um, to the birthing unit to have a little look around. Very excited. <laughs> Let's go. Late. <laughs> Yeah. 
Good morning everybody. Um, today is the 18th of December um, and I am officially 37 weeks, well 37 plus 4 now, um, but yeah officially full term, actually can't believe it, <laughs> don't know where that time has gone and I always say that, but yeah officially full term, baby boy could come any time which is crazy. Um, but yeah, I am on maternity leave. Today is technically day one. Um, <clears throat> I We are actually on school Christmas holidays anyway, because I'm a teacher, um, but I won't be going back to work after Christmas. So counting it as maternity leave. Um, it just worked out really well with timing, which is lucky. Um, but yeah, day one of maternity leave. I've got quite a few things that I need to get done and quite a few plans this week so I thought it'd be a good time to pick up the camera and document it um so yeah I'm just getting ready now uh today I am just meeting a couple of work friends um and then I need to do a food shop because I um tried to, we normally get uh, Tesco delivery and I went to Bitcoin yesterday didn't save my basket and lost the slot and now there are none like none at all until after Christmas <laughs> so I can't believe that I was obviously lucky to get one and then an hour later I'd lost it so that's really annoying so I need to go and brave the shops um today and then uh this week I've got my nails haven't had them done for the whole of pregnancy um but I thought get them booked in for Christmas and potentially labour nails, really exciting. Um, so I need to decide what I want, I don't want to go too Christmassy because they're probably going to take me into January, well they will take me into January. Um, so yeah, nails done, meeting a few friends tomorrow which will be lovely and then really need to get on with baby prep just in case he comes and I'm getting a bit anxious about that hospital bag isn't done um nursery isn't finished yet just like little bits not finished we need to get our chair um we had a whole dilemma drama about a chair that we ordered um i've been showing that over on instagram but i'll tell you about that it's been a nightmare um and then oh and yesterday we built the snooze pod so i can show you that in a minute that just feels so surreal um but yeah I think that's all I'm getting done this week um, and then Christmas as well I've not done anything for Christmas it's the 18th of December I've not bought a present I've not wrapped anything so I need to go shopping some point this week as well and also tie that in with a hospital bag shop I need to just go to Primark and get the last bits so yeah it's gonna be a busy week <laughs> I know I should be resting but busy week and I thought I'd bring you along. So I hope you enjoy it. Wednesday today, uh, another day. Um, didn't film anything yesterday because I just had um, quite a few friends coming around. Um, so that was really lovely. Um, and I've just got up this morning and gone to get my nails done. So um, yeah, fresh nails, all ready for baby boy. Um, obviously really short. Uh, I don't know if you can see some of the focus. Really short um, with a little bit of sparkle. I thought I don't want to go too Christmassy because these are going to see me into uh, January, hopefully. Um, and yeah, hopefully they'll last for a baby boy's arrival. I'm just having some breakfast and then just having a day at home today. Really need to get my hostel bag packed. I want to set up my nappy caddies and I'm just doing the last of his washing and then everything is washed so I can put all that away as well. So yeah, thought I'd bring you along with my little day at home. So I'm just about to put 
the last wash on. I need to put it all this away. Um, and then this is the snooze board. I don't think I ended up sharing it the other day. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, I've just, we've just put it back in here for now because we're worried that the cap's going to start going in it if we keep it in our room. And it is really big, actually, so it's taken up a lot of space. Um, but this is just full of all the washing that I've already done that's full. Um, so, yeah, I need to go and put it in the drawers. Um, but, yeah, we went for um, the slate colour. We were kindly sent this. Um, we've been working with Snooze on Instagram. I did think that it was going to be black. Um, <clears throat> sorry, I'm out of breath for coming up the stairs. I did think it was going to be black because, um, we'll see, we have black in our bedroom. So I thought that would go really nicely. Um, it's actually really dark grey. Uh, you can kind of see against the ball there. <coughs> but it's okay. It still looks really nice. Um, but yeah, at the moment it's just being used for clothes. So I'm going to put all of this in here. Hang out the wash. And then I've got the last... Um, a few bits to go in and then all the washing is done it's yeah a lot but then I just really need to sort out this room because there's just stuff everywhere <laughs> hostel bags there waiting to be done and um, Josh has actually done his very impressed um chair is still that's just a an old chair that was used in here but obviously I want to get a nice rocking chair and then we've worked with Monogam Puppers on this bouncer, which is just lovely. Um, and I'm not sure whether to just put it downstairs now, get used to having it down there. Also, it's a pain, like having the buggy and stuff, which is not going to be in here. So it kind of clogs up the nursery, but it's okay. We're getting there. I've just finished packing the nappy caddies, uh, one for the bedroom, one for downstairs. Um, and I've also got two mats here. This is like a foldable one, so I think <coughs> I might keep that in the cupboard downstairs. And then hopefully this one in the bedroom under the snooze pod. Um, I have filmed a video for TikTok and Instagram just showing what I've popped inside. So... Yeah, if you're interested, definitely go and have a look. Um, this basket is from Mabel and Fox, as are these. Um, and then I got this little sign off Etsy. And I thought that was a nice little touch. Um, so yeah, I think that's my favourite. But also this one, so lovely, um, from H&M. And there's also loads of pockets around the outside. So I can pack even more stuff in there, actually. Um, but I've just done the basics for now. But yeah, really happy that's another job ticked off the list. So the last wash is done and hang out to dry. Um, please excuse the attire. I've just thrown on these um, trousers. Actually, me and mum bought them um, when I was very early stages of pregnancy and they were in the H&M sale. Um, they were like less than five pounds, I think. And they were like a really big size, like um, extra large or something. So we thought, right, let's buy them because they'll be really handy. Um, just found them in my wardrobe with tags on. And they are absolutely huge. <laughs> Even with uh, almost 38 week bump, they still don't fit. So, but that's fine. They're comfy. We'll wear them around the house. I have to fold them over there, otherwise they just fall down. <laughs> but yeah, all gone comfy. Um, and I'm going to now start to pack our hospital bags, just like a quick sort of dry run because there's still a few bits I need to get, um, which I'm hoping to do this week. Um, but I'm getting very anxious that they're not done. And yeah, like I say, we're nearly 38 weeks now, so he could come whenever. Um, actually, 38 weeks tomorrow, so he could come whenever, any time now. So I just thought if we can get it done. And then I can add those bits that I still need to buy. Um, so I've got my uh, like small suitcase. And then um, Baby has got this one from Mabel and Fox, which I'm actually working with them over on Instagram. 
um, doing like a air pack with me feature. So oh, my cat's just arrived. So yeah, that will come. Oh, that's not for you. Uh, that video will be coming and I'll be sharing what I'm putting in both of our bags. So yeah, look out for that. But like I said, I'm just going to do a quick dry run now and see how we get on. really cute bag off um, TikTok so I thought I might use that. Um, I think it's a cat honestly. Um, this might be like a feeding bag with the milks and bottles in or um, I'll use it something else, creams and stuff as well so that can be. Okay the bags are empty. Let's get started. To, um like rummage through all the washing um, and decide what to take <laughs> to be honest so we'll start with going home outfit um, I'll put a couple in there it's just so hard to know with sizes but this is zero to one is that newborn or is newborn smaller I don't know <laughs> but this I just love because it's got the little leggings and a hat and I just think that would be a lovely outfit to go home in um we'll also be packing this little um like pram suit because obviously it's going to be cold um but we've also got this which i love um and that's zero to three so again i don't know is that going to be huge or is that normal <laughs> so difficult so i think i will pack those two though as potential going home outfits and then oh, there's the hat that goes with the set. And then I think uh, three vests and three sleep suits. So I need to go and find some more. But vests, do we do long sleeve? Do we do short sleeve? <laughs> I don't know. Okay, I've packed the two that I said for going home out set. Then I've also got <coughs> a little bag for our first outfit because I'm sure he'll have an outfit in the hospital and he'll have long we're there for and obviously then he's going home one but this uh, not the trousers but they do much this was the first thing we bought after our six week scam I think this was a set of three um I really love the striped one so I thought I'll pack that with the trousers I think they're the same size and um, that can be the first outfit we put on him and then, I don't know, does a vest go under that? I don't know. Okay, so far, hats, socks and mitts. Honestly, I don't realise how hard this would be. I have no idea how much to take of each. First outfit, going home outfit. And sleep suits, I need to finish. Got this little um, suit. Um, vest, I need to finish. Now I'm going to do blankets. Uh, so I've got this one. I love this. Uh, this was just from Shein. <laughs> so cute though. Um, and then this one. Um, yeah, two I think will be alright. And then I'm going to get some muslins. And nappies. And then I think that's mostly his stuff done. Um, yeah, I'll show you when I've done a bit more.
now it's Thursday uh, this week is just flying by um, I think it's just that lead up to Christmas isn't it it always goes so quick and when you've got so much to do um, sorry I'm out of breath I've just got in from my 38 week midwife appointment um, and I've been at my best friend's today um, meeting her um, baby boy so he's two weeks old now so really excited for the boys to be little besties that's gonna be really cute um but yeah sorry let me try and catch my breath okay that's better and i've just propped the camera up so i can talk properly um <clears throat> but yeah 38 week appointment all went well um measuring fine he's um head down and engaged which is really good to hear um so that's a relief not that i was worried but it's just good to get that reassurance because I hadn't been um, measured or felt um, since, well, I hadn't, yeah, since the scan, which was 34 weeks. So it feels like it's been quite a while since we've had anything. So it's just good to know. Um, and then she discussed um, like stretch and sweep options and induction and stuff like that. Um, so we're booked in for 40 week appointment. <coughs> And then she said I can decide there if I'd like to go for all of that at 41 weeks or I can just let it be and see what happens. Um, so yeah, we'll see. But yeah, next appointment is on the 4th of Jan, which is the due date. So two weeks today, absolutely crazy. But yeah, just thought I'd update you. Um, I think we need to go and do a little bit of shopping now. It's like three o'clock, it feels so late, it's so dark. Um, but yeah, I need to go and do some shopping. Um, and then tomorrow I'm having afternoon tea with my sister, which was my 30th birthday present, which is lovely. So we're gonna do that. And then I'm also gonna brave Primark and um, <clears throat> a few other shops for Christmas bits because I've still not bought any Christmas presents, not done any wrapping. And today is 21st of December. So I think this is the worst year yet. <laughs> um, I feel like I have an excuse, occupied. <laughs> but yeah, gonna get that done. And yeah, and then it will be um, pretty much Christmas. So I will try and carry on um, filming. I haven't done as much as I thought I would this week, filming wise. It's just, it's just flown by and I've been quite busy. Um, so what did I do yesterday? Oh yes, I did film yesterday, so we did some sorting. Um, and I'm getting over the hospital bags, so I feel good about that. Washing is done, so I think, not tomorrow, but Saturday's job will be sorting out his drawers, so I'll bring you along with that as well. Um, and yeah, hope you're enjoying the vlog so far. I am off to brave the shops <laughs> wish me luck I'm actually really quite scared it's the uh, 22nd of December today uh, Friday Christmas is on Monday so I've no doubt it's gonna be mad so yeah that's gonna be fun but I'm gonna do that and um, because I need to do some Christmas presents and hospital bag stuff and then me and my sister are going for afternoon tea um, so yeah that'll be lovely um, and I just thought I'd do a bump update because I don't know when I'm going to be doing the last one of these so I'm going to try and do as many as I can but yeah we are huge we are 38 plus one Friday yeah 38 plus one and um, there's no hiding that any button and yeah struggling to find things to wear so chucked on a trusty dress I'm going to put my cream coat on and we're going to go me luck. <laughs> Time to build the rocking chair. Take two. Oh, it's, <laughs> it's nice. Look at the pump. Yeah, nice. <coughs> Put Christmas pajamas on. Stop, look, I'm building you a chair. There's your Christmas pajamas. Oh, there. And a whole load of food. What's Christmas? What is it? Christmas Eve Eve today, isn't it? Christmas Eve Eve.
are still um, not finished in here, so please excuse the mess. But here is the chair. Absolutely love it. It's so comfortable as well. Really happy with that. It's just what I wanted in here. Um, so yeah, we're just waiting on a few tiny little bits. <clears throat> but it is basically done. It just needs tidying. Um, and then I can share it with you all. I'm so excited.